Hello and welcome to another video for Minus Touch Toys, Games and Collectibles. And today we're looking at the 1992 release by Matchbox from their um, Thunderbirds series of action figures. Uh, now these action figures were released in 1992 to tie in with the return of Thunderbirds to uh, ITV uh, mainstream uh, television. Um, okay, and there was a series of figures that were produced along with toys um, and other games and collectibles and so on that were uh, all, all there to tie in with the return of the TV show. Okay, so this is the card that the figure comes on. Um, and this particular figure is of the Hood, who was the arch M enemy of the International Rescue um, and was always trying to outwit them and learn their secrets. Okay, so this is the card it comes on. It says Matchbox Thunderbirds. 1992 ITC Entertainment Group, licensed by Copyright Promotions Limited. Um, you've got Thunderbirds, and you've got Thunderbird 1, 2, and 3. Um, at the top there, you've got Fab 1, and you've got Thunderbird 4 at the bottom. And it says on the card, the hood, enemy with sword. Um, and you've got Ages 4 Plus at the bottom right-hand corner. And there, of course, you've got the, foot, the hood in the middle in all his robes uh, and he comes complete with his sword okay before we zoom in on the figure let's turn the card around and have a good look at what's printed on the back okay so i've turned the card around uh, and it says on the card matchbox thunderbirds the hood the arch villain of the world the hood is so named because of his many disguises his aim in life is to acquire as much wealth as possible his largest target is international rescue, to steal the crafts and auction them to the highest bidder. Operating from a strange temple in jungle, the hood was eluded, captured by blackmailing those he feels will betray him. He is ruthless and calculating, and his myst mystical powers, using voodoo and black magic, make him the world's most dangerous man. And there below you can see other items in the range. It says, collect the range, trace the island with electric sounds, vehicles and figures. You can see you've got an assortment of figures um, loose and there's a few in the packets. Um, you've got the Thunderbirds Rescue Pack, which includes the Thunderbird 2 and Thunderbird 1 and 4 as shown in the picture there. And also you've got the image of the electronic Tracy Island. Um, and at the bottom, again, you've got the information on the hood um, and you've got all the copyright information at the bottom along with the stock numbers and the barcodes. Okay, that's the back of the card. So let's turn it round and have a good look at the figure itself. Okay, so I zoomed right in on the figure itself and there you can see the hood in all his glory. Now the hood is still sealed to the card, so I can't remove him. Um, so we've just got to view him through the, the bubble window. Uh, but he stands about um, three and a half inches tall, which is about nine centimeters. Um, articulation, not a great deal. I know the arms definitely move. I'm not sure if the legs or the head turns, um, but they, they weren't particularly made with an awful lot of um, articulation. They were just made really to be played with by children. Um, but here he is dressed in his uh, temple attire, uh, which is his uh, blue trousers, blue sleeves, uh, and his bronze upper body wear. Um, with his red belt and his red jewel in the centre of his chest. Um, and he comes complete with his sword, which is um, just to the um, beneath his right arm. Um, okay, that is about all I can tell you about the figure. Um, they ran for about um, three or four years before the line was discontinued um, because the TV programme had run its course um, and had and then finished um, and then they moved on to one of the other different um, Jerry Anderson programs on mainstream TV um, so different lines of figures and toys and so on were, were released to tie in with those um, but as a result these figures are now becoming quite difficult to find um, and very collectible and as usual we at Midas Touch have managed to find a few which are currently available to purchase on the Midas Touch website which you can get to quite simply by clicking the link below It'll take you straight to the website where you'll be able to find this and many other vintage Jerry Anderson items and many other vintage toys, games and collectibles come to that. There's over 10,000 products currently available on the website for you to view and purchase at your leisure. And also don't forget to hit the subscribe button because we're uploading videos for every new item that goes into the website. 
And there will be something for everybody. And I know you're not gonna wanna miss that because we've literally a thousands and thousands of more products which we're shooting videos for and uploading on a daily basis. Uh, so if there's something in particular you've been looking for, some obscure item that you've always wanted, or something from your childhood that you like to um, buy again and recapture those childhood memories, keep watching, stay tuned, because you never know, the next item could be the item you're looking for. Okay, so that's it for me on this particular item. I hope you've enjoyed this very short video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.